Near-death experience include a sense of peace and well-being, an intense feeling of unconditional love and acceptance, no pain and only positive emotions, perception that out-of-body, sometimes observing medical professionals performing resuscitation efforts, a tunnel experience a sense of moving up towards light, or staircase, encountering beings of light, beings dressed in white or of being reunited with deceased loved ones. Life review, seeing one's life flash before one's eyes. Approaching a border. Or a decision by oneself or others to return to one's body. These experiences cannot explain simply by physiological reactions, that's why people try to find explanation in religion and other spiritual practices. Out-of-body experiences, altered sense of time, sensations of flying and lightness visual illusion, can be explained by damage of the bilateral frontal and occipital regions of the brain. But predominantly right hemispheric brain damage. Feeling of a presence, meeting and communication with spirits, voices and sounds can be caused by left brain damage. Damage to the bilateral occipital cortex may lead to visual features, such as seeing a tunnel or lights. Damage to unilateral or bilateral temporal lobe structures, such as the hippocampus and amygdala, may lead to emotional experiences, memory flashbacks or a life review. Deep brain stimulation and neuroimaging have demonstrated that, out-of-body experiences result from a deficient multisensory integration at the temporoparietal junction. Also, chemicals are important participants during near-death experience. Endorphins are endogenous molecules released in times of stress and lead to a reduction in pain perception and a pleasant, even blissful, emotional state. Judson and Wiltshaw, 1983, noted, how the administration of endorphin-blocking agents such as naloxone had been occasionally reported to produce hellish experience. Also, drugs which are given to patients during their critical conditions, are important players in near-death experiences. Such drugs are ketamine, salvia divinorum, and DMT, they are linked to near-death experiences. Also serotonin can have its role during near-death experience. Brain hypoxia is also important player of near-death experience. Because, hypoxia of the brain can cause hallucinations and other symptoms. For example, fighter pilots. They are experiencing very rapid and intense acceleration, that result in lack of sufficient blood supply to the brain. And they also experience tunnel vision and bright lights, floating sensations, automatic movement, autoscopy, not wanting to be disturbed, paralysis, vivid dreamlets of beautiful places, pleasurable sensations, psychological alterations of euphoria and dissociation, inclusion of friends and family and other near-death experiences. Although there are some researches which can partially explain this experience, Near-death experience still controversial issue and requires further studies.